as you may know, a group of globe and flat earthers are flying to Antarctica in order to try and decide and prove whether the Earth is a globe or whether it's flat. That's the final experiment. However, this is the real final experiment. Much easier to take one single flight from London Heathrow to Mali to Vilana International Airport. So here I am at Heathrow Airport, ready to carry out the real final experiment. On boarding the plane, everything looks normal. I have a quick check to make sure there's no parties of orphans or singing nuns with guitars. It's always a much safer flight without either of those. It's not too long before we're making our way down the runway. The aircraft gather speed swiftly using thrust from the jet engines. Incidentally, flat earthers are always asking for an example of gas pressure without a container. That would be a jet engine. It's open at both ends, yet in the middle, the pressure of the air is much, much higher than outside of the engine. Go figure. Anyway, it's not long until the pilot gives the command to rotate, the nose is lifted, and thanks to the wonders of modern physics and the differential of air pressure above and below the wings, we take off. Now, flat earth gimboids are always saying that if the earth really was a globe, then flying round it, pilots would have to dip the nose. Well, looking out the window now over London, everything does seem flat and level, as you would expect. So I have a quick look around the cabin. And yes, indeed, everything does seem to be exactly as you'd expect. And here we are, just a few minutes after takeoff, just going over into France. But then that's not very far. So what about what it's like when we're roughly halfway? We've now traveled 2,805 miles and are somewhere over Iraq. And looking out the window, things look a little concerning. Things look not quite right. Perhaps though, that could just be my camera phone. So I changed to my stills camera for a better shot. This is really quite concerning. For flat earthers. Now the circumference of the globe is 24,901 miles. From Heathrow to Mali Airport is 5,302 miles. So we've come about 21.3% of the way around the earth. And as you can see, we're pointing nearly downwards. No wonder they tell us to keep seatbelts on. I can't believe that flat earthers are stupid enough to think that aircraft have to dip their noses to go around the world. But they obviously are that stupid. So perhaps my video has now convinced them that they do dip their noses, therefore the Earth is a globe. Hey, win-win. However, part way through the flight, I took a short clip of film that does demonstrate that the Earth is a globe, that shows that the Earth cannot be flat. Have a look at this. Here we are at 37,000 feet. Looking out, you can see it's just dawn. Streaming in through the windows is sunlight. This aircraft is in full sunlight, but looking out the window, none of the land is. Because the sun is only just peeking up over the curve with a light shining upwards onto the aircraft. Flat Earth really is the gift that keeps on failing. Until next time, stay sensible.